Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 26th of July. My, my text today is from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. It's a very known text that shows the dangers of walking in ways that we have been walking for a long time, and our ancestors as well, they walked on that path. But uh, they seem way to, uh, they seem fine to us. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean that they are going to lead us to salvation or to life. Lots of the ways that we've been walking in, they lead to death. That's why uh, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 26 says that those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. If we walk in God's wisdom, we will be kept safe. Our hearts, says Jeremiah, they can be deceitful above all things. And can, they can even be beyond cure. Who can understand it? Jeremiah 17 verse 9. That's why we need the light of God. Because when the light of God comes into our hearts, they will... It will show everything that's in there and everything that we can get from God, that we can receive from God, that will change our, our hearts because they can be very deceitful. We might be walking a way that we think it's wonderful, it's beautiful, but uh, the end of that way, there is death, total separation from God. That's what death is. The worst Thing that could happen to anyone is to live in eternal death, the second death, as Revelation says. Jesus came uh, walk along walking with people two thousand lo a long time ago, and uh, he knew what the people had in their hearts, and he was revealing himself to them so they would see the light of God. And start walking with him. As he said, I am the way. You study the scriptures diligently. Because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. Says Jesus in John chapter 5 verses 39 and 40. This chapter is very interesting because it's going to show how some people, some religious people, were actually trying to, to know about eternal life. They wanted to know God. And then God comes and says, hello. And then they refuse to receive God. Why do we refuse to, re to accept what God is offering us? Jesus says in, in this text of John that people didn't want to come to him. Because they were looking for their own glory. They wanted the applause of other men. They didn't know. They didn't want God's glory. They want their own glory. That's why they couldn't come. They were searching for eternal life. Eternal life comes to them and they refuse to accept it. Jeremiah was right when he said, The heart is deceitful above all things. And Paul is going to, to, to give us an exhortation in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are not going to have that deceitful heart. You are going to have Jesus' heart guiding your life. There is all the light you need in Christ to be guided by him. You want to be walking in darkness, as Jesus says when he's speaking to, to people in John chapter 3. You are not going to walk in darkness, but you will have eternal life. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive ph philosophy, which depends on human tradition, on the elemental spiritual forces of this world, rather than on Christ. Be careful. 
because you can become slave of a hollow, deceptive philosophy instead of walking with Jesus. There is eternal life in Jesus. There is truth because Jesus said, I am the truth. God bless you.